Howdy y'all, welcome back to Zeman Outdoors. Today I wanted to do another quick review on a budget-friendly trail camera. Full disclosure here, this company actually reached out to me and asked if I would do a video review on their trail camera. And they went ahead and sent this to me at no cost, so I did not actually pay for this camera. Either way, I still plan on doing a full review. I just want to be fully transparent with how I came across this camera. This is the 8-man H60 trail camera. It takes 20 megapixel pictures and 1080p videos. It says it has a 120 degree detection angle and can detect out to about 65 feet. What's pretty cool about this one is it actually comes with an SD card. It is micro SD, which I prefer a bigger card, but for a budget camera, I can't really complain. And the fact that it comes with a card is actually pretty nice. You don't have to go out and buy a new one. Or like for Camp Park, you can do a review and potentially get a card. But this one puts it in the box and it's ready to go. So all you really need is some batteries. So I'm gonna quickly unbox this. I'm going to run through some of my thoughts on it right away. And then I will go through the settings with y'all like I did on the Cam Park. And then at the end of the video, once I get this set up and, and get some video and pictures, I'll throw those clips for about 30 seconds or a minute if you want to see more about the quality and how it takes pictures in motion and things like that. I won't be able to bring this out to the property right away by the time this video comes out, so you'll see pictures and videos in my backyard. I do plan on bringing this out to the property and testing it out there and seeing if I like it better than the cam parks. If I do, maybe I'll do another video on it. As far as the price point goes, I looked this up and it looked like it was, I think, around $65 or so, but it had a 30% discount as of yesterday. So it seems like you can get it for a pretty good price if you just wait for that discount. So it has a user manual, just a little note, and then it looks like this one does give you a, a gift as well if you give them a review. So we have the camera here. It actually looks pretty dang similar to the cam parks especially, you know, in build quality and design. I mean, it's pretty similar to some of the Camp Park models. Then it gives you some mounting hardware. You have a tree strap, a cable to plug into your computer, and here's the micro SD card. It looks like it's only 16 gigabytes, so not 32, which is what I usually use. But honestly, depending where you put it, 16 may be plenty and it's free. So again, I can't complain. We'll go ahead and install the batteries in the SD card and take a look at it. So the inside looks very similar to the cam parks. It's got a nice screen, some nice buttons, the on off menu. The location of the SD card, the micro SD card, is kind of in a bad spot, similar to the cam parks, which is unfortunate. It's really a pain to get in and out of the bottom there. So first thing it asks is the language and to set the clock. Then you'll format the SD card and it's ready to go. So we'll go through the settings real quick. Mode, we'll do camera and video. 
photo size will test, will test out the full quality at 20 megapixels. Video size will do 1080p. I guess it only lets you take one picture, maybe. Video length will say 10 seconds is good. Interval, that's the time between shots, we'll say 30 seconds. I'm not going to have the time lapse on. I do want the time stamp on. Not really sure what time switch is. I will say the instruction manual is not very helpful. But I believe the time switch is if you want to set a timer of when it'll start taking pictures or videos and when it'll end. I actually don't want to do that. So I'm going to keep that off. I'm not going to set a password. I'm not going to set the serial number. I do want the side sensors on. We'll set the sensitivity to high. And we'll do. We'll try auto. We'll see what auto does. Language we already did. We already formatted the card. We already set the clock. That's if you want to reset to default settings. Auto power off is after five minutes. Looks like you can change it between three, five, and ten, or just shut it off altogether. Uh, we'll put on three. I like to shut the beep sound off. It can get pretty annoying. Volume record is on. Volume playback is normal. And that's just the firmware if there's an update or the version. So, like I said, very similar to how the Cam Park operates as far as that goes. If you haven't checked out that video, go ahead and check it out. I'll put a link in the description as well as at the top of the screen. And then to turn it on, you'll just click to on. And it gives you a countdown here before it'll start taking pictures. And the screen will go blank. Don't worry about that. It's not broken. It just goes blank and shuts off to save power. So I'll go ahead and shut it off for now. So that's my quick review on this Ape Man H60 trail camera. If you really like this and you like the idea of the price and you like the quality of the pictures that are going to come up after this, then click the link in the description below to go ahead and purchase one for yourself. Thanks for watching.